Hi darlings, welcome back. Today's video is the what's new in my wardrobe video for September. So we're going to be looking at all the new pieces into my wardrobe and this feels like a really exciting one because since last month, August's what's new in my wardrobe, it feels like autumn has finally arrived. Even though I feel like the first day of autumn officially is around the 22nd of September, not sure the exact date, but here in the UK at least the weather has changed and autumn trends have really hit the shops. Naturally I have been purchasing a few autumnal pieces and yes we're getting to that time of year where the word autumnal is going to be very overused in my videos so prepare yourself for that. I also wanted to let you know that after the success of the Fashion Mumbler spring edit and the summer edit I will of course be doing an autumn edit but that's going to be towards the end of September because I actually have a holiday next week and so I'm not ready to fully become autumnified until that holiday is over so stay tuned there are going to be tons of autumn styling videos tips like autumn basics how to transition your wardrobe things like that so stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed for lots of videos on how to really uplift your wardrobe for autumn so today as you will know if you watch these videos before it's all about the things that are new in my wardrobe as you may know I do quite a few haul videos here on this channel but I don't keep everything it's just not humanly possible the same as when you guys order stuff online you sometimes send things back if they're not quite right. I'm exactly the same, but I think these videos are really useful to just gather all the new pieces together, rate and review them, show you how I've been styling them, and things like that. So before I get started, just to let you know that I will be linking everything down in the description box, and I've had a few of you guys, especially my US audience, you've been saying that sometimes the links don't work for you, so this time I'm going to do a UK section and then a US section. So hopefully if you are from the UK or US, that'll make it a bit easier, and if you are not from the UK or the US, then you could try Try both links so hopefully some of the links will work. I think especially Topshop has been a little bit dodgy lately but fingers crossed and everything will be linked down in the description box so just click show more. Okay so I'm gonna get started with this little beauty. You can see it hanging on the end there and this is my gorgeous new Chloe test bag. I bought this a couple of weeks ago. I did unbox it in a vlog so I'll leave that vlog linked up on the screen now so you can see my first impressions. This bag I just fell in love with it as soon as I laid eyes upon it. I first saw it in Selfridges and and then I ended up buying it online from Netta Porter. This is the first time I've been a real early adopter when it comes to a new handbag style with previous Chloe bags like the Faye and the Drew, even the Gucci Dionysus. If I've decided to buy the bag, I have waited at least five or six months, if not longer, to let the dust settle, if you will, on the trend. But this one, I just loved it so much, I invested straight away. If you saw my New York outfit diaries, you'll have seen that I've worn it pretty much every single day there, and it just goes with so many outfits. It makes so many of the things that I'm about to show you on this rail look incredible, and because it is a designer accessory, it really has the power to uplift your entire look. So this has probably been my favourite new piece from this past month. This month there have also been some real crazy sell-out viral pieces from Topshop, a few of which you may have spotted behind me, so I don't want to tease you too much because a lot of them are sold out, so I'm just going to whiz past those ones really quickly. First of which is this polka dot dress. This is just the perfect length. It's so elegant, so ladylike, so easy to throw on. An instant outfit that you just don't even need to think about and you look super chic. I wore this with some snake print slingbacks, which I'll show you in a second in New York. I think at the time of filming this is sold out, but I will still leave it linked down below because occasionally it comes back into stock. So if you've got any ways of tracking when something comes back in stock on your size, then definitely set it up for this one. After a long hot summer I have been very excited to start picking up knitwear again. You guys know if you've been here for a little while that I love retailers such as Reese for my knitwear because the pieces are so classic, the quality is so so high and I come back to my Reese investment pieces such as my knitwear year after year so I don't feel like I'm frittering away my money but I'm investing it very wisely. So this early autumn I first of all picked up this gorgeous, very casual slouchy knit. As soon as I touched this I knew that it was just going to be an absolute dream to wear. It's so, so soft. It's got a really lovely, very casual, relaxed drape to it. And I've actually paired this. Hopefully I'll be able to insert a picture or a video on the screen here. I paired it with a leather skirt and it was just a really nice way of dressing up a very casual jumper. So you're super cozy, but also looking very chic. And I love this color, very neutral and very easy to wear. This next one is a real tease. Oh my goodness, I absolutely loved wearing this this month and I will be wearing it a lot more in the upcoming autumn 
couple to months, probably pairing it with something a little bit um, warmer, such as a faux fur gilet like this one. This one is actually just coming online to Topshop.com now. I got this in store. This sold out a little while ago, but once again, do keep an eye out because it's such a gorgeous item of clothing. Whenever I wear this out, I get at least four or five people asking me where it's from and saying how fab it looks. And I have to agree, I absolutely love this. This and my Chloe bag are definitely my favourite things that I've worn throughout the past few weeks. You guys are probably recognising all of these outfit pieces if you follow me on Instagram because I have been doing a lot more fashion on my Instagram lately. I've been posting a lot more of my outfits. I'm trying not to care so much about my theme or how my grid looks because I think that most of you guys that follow me on Instagram are there to get outfit inspo. So I'm not worrying too much about how it looks as a whole but more just to try and give you outfit inspo. So this outfit I loved wearing um, in New York and also in Venice. I paired this shirt two different ways with two different white bottoms. The first way that I styled it was with this fabulous LK Bennett skirt. It's a pretty long skirt, almost ankle length. So very elegant, very ladylike, but I think it looks so stylish with this blouse. Again with the snake print slingbacks, it really pulled the outfit together. So mixing high street, very affordable blouse with a slightly more premium skirt. I'm desperate to think of more ways to style this skirt as well so if you guys have got any ideas let me know. Maybe even with my Reese knitwear although maybe they're two slouchy things together but I'll give it a try and let you guys know. I also styled this blouse with a pair of wide-legged trousers from Reese. Those are not new this month but I'll insert a picture of the outfit that I'm talking about here. Again that was a really great outfit for various occasions from evening dinners to a day exploring Venice and this snake print I think that even though it's super affordable most of these snake print pieces are from Topshop it just looks so classic and high-end. I did mention in my autumn winter trends for 2018 video which is a really thorough video about the trends that you guys should think about injecting into your wardrobe for the next few months. I'll leave it on the screen. I mentioned that animal print was going to be huge this year. We're seeing lots of leopard and snake is definitely a standout print this season. This next piece is a real winner and I just checked online and it's still available in all sizes so go 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 if you love this as much as I do. This is my new coat from Topshop and it was £65. £65 for a coat that is this beautiful, this classic. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks far more expensive. It actually looks very, very similar to my Reese Lawson coat that I wore so much this time last year throughout the whole of winter. An absolute classic. And this, okay, it's not super, super warm because it doesn't have a lining, but at this time of year when you just want something to keep you cozy, add an additional layer to your outfit, but without getting all hot and flustered, it's absolutely perfect. I mostly have been styling this just flung over my shoulders for a little bit of extra warmth and to add an autumnal touch to my outfit. So this is another real favourite from the high street this month. And then we have a couple of really gorgeous skirts. Both of these skirts I have worn so much since I first got them. This first one is this brown leather skirt. This is real leather but it was only £55. As you've seen in previous pictures, I've styled it with my Reese knit and they look so gorgeous together. I haven't actually done so yet but I could also style a leather skirt with this top that I'm wearing right now. Now, um, this is also new from Reese, so these two together would look really, really gorgeous. And then on the flip side, I have another snake print item. I just am obsessed with snake print at the moment, and this is an investment piece from Reese. I think this was around just under £300, so it was not an impulse decision. I saw this in King's Road and I just fell in love with it. Thought that this is going to be one of those skirts that I reach for year after year. I've got a suede skirt from Reese from two or three years ago that I bring out season after season and I think this is going to be one of those. In New York, I wore the snake skirt with this top that I'm wearing now. Absolutely love that outfit. And it's a nice way of keeping your legs out during autumn, perhaps with a coat over the top for a little bit of extra warmth, but both of these really beautiful transitional pieces for this time of year. You guys know that I can't resist Club Monaco at any time of year and especially this time of year when they start to bring out their beautiful cashmere pieces. So the first piece of cashmere that I've invested in this season is this beautiful jumper. It has these gorgeous trumpet style sleeves which are a little bit challenging to wear under a coat so perfect at this time of year when you don't desperately need that top layer 
but it's so snuggly and warm, so soft. I love the frill detail on the sleeves. And once again, a really classic piece that's not going to be going out of style in years to come. So one that'll be staying in my wardrobe for years and years. Another piece that unfortunately I think has sold out online, but I'm praying it's going to come back. These fabulous cord culottes from River Island. They also have them in a beige color. So if I can find either pair, I'll leave them linked down below. This, I think I actually styled with this top and the Topshop coat for a recent day out in London. I actually saw the changing of the guards outside Horse Guards Parade, which I've never seen before, despite living in London for so long. And I was wearing this when I saw it happen. And on that day, I just felt like I was wearing the perfect transitional outfit. Because the trousers are cord and this fabulous rust color, they're a really kind of key autumnal piece. But then because my arms were free in this top, I didn't feel like I was too hot and bothered on a fairly mild day. Next, we have a real bargain piece. And every time I feature this on my Instagram stories, so many people ask me where it's from and it is from Topshop. This is a gorgeous scalloped neck and sleeve lightweight knit top. Really fabulous layering piece again with the faux fur gilet, with a coat, worn with high-waisted trousers, high-waisted skirts, things like that. A really, really practical piece, and I think this was $22.99. Um, I would be surprised if this was still in stock, but as I said, I will leave it linked down below because it's just such a gorgeous piece, and one of those things that you know will work with so many different outfit combinations throughout the upcoming months. I feel like I always talk at 100 miles an hour when I do these videos. I need to just... <sighs> Next is something else that is a rust corduroy material. I feel like rust is just the ultimate autumn colour. As soon as you wear this in your outfit, you're telling everyone that you are ready for autumn. So this is another very affordable piece from Topshop. I think it's £32. I always think it looks a lot more reddy orange on camera, whereas it's more of a brownie orange in real life. I definitely prefer the colour that it is in real life. Once again, a fairly short skirt, so this will be really nice to wear with over knee boots when it does get a little bit cooler. But for now, with tops like this, with knitted tops like this, in fact, I think I have video clips of me wearing these with the faux fur gilet. A really lovely piece and a very affordable piece to really inject some autumnal style into your wardrobe. From the super affordable to something a little bit more premium, I have these gorgeous shorts from Reese. Now, once again, I've had shorts like this from Reese before, but in white, and they became a real summer and spring staple in my wardrobe. I got so much use out of them. So when I saw them in this beautiful, it's kind of like a rusty caramel color. I should probably do this bottom up. I knew that I'd get so much use out of these in autumn and also my upcoming holiday. I feel like this kind of burnt caramel color is still quite late summery as well. So definitely a really good transitional piece. Once again, I wore them with this top. This top is very, very versatile. Also from Reese, highly recommend. I absolutely love it. And again, get so many questions on this top when I wear it out and about. These two paired together, I wore in New York. I thought it was a very, very chic outfit. So yes, they are a slightly higher price tag, but I think I will get a lot of use out of these to bring that price per wear right down. If you are super excited about knitwear, but you're not quite ready to invest in Reese or Club Monaco prices because let's be honest, they are very expensive. Then I have this amazing, super cozy, and I think this looks very, very chic knit from River Island. In fact, I haven't worn it out yet, so I might still have the price in. Yes, 36 pounds, oh my goodness, 36 pounds. I love a cozy roll neck. I feel like, oh, it's just the best feeling, like you're enveloped in a marshmallow, and I just love the color of this. I think it's a very chic color. It's not gonna show marks too easily, or dog hairs, which is very important to me. And once again, the same way that I've styled the Reese one, you could style this with the snake print skirt, with the leather skirt, it would look absolutely gorgeous. Great when you want another layer of warmth at this time of year, just to snuggle up in. And then when it comes to winter, you can pop thermals underneath this, wear it with a coat, and it's just gonna be super duper warm. Something else that I picked up in that same River Island order that was a bit of a Marmite piece and I didn't know if I'd love it or hate it but I've ended up absolutely loving them is this pair of wide leg trousers. Very different for me, very different from my usual style but again I'll insert a photo of me wearing them here. Can't remember what top I paired it with but let's be honest it was probably this one because I've been wearing this one with absolutely everything. But yeah super comfy, super easy to wear. They are quite stretchy. I think I'm probably going to wear these on the airplane on the way 
away to our holiday next week. Just a really lovely floaty material and another piece that looks so much more expensive than they actually were. When you pair things like this with something a little bit more premium like this, your whole outfit just looks absolutely wonderful. So that has been a real favourite, turned out to be something that surprised me from my online River Island order. And from that same order, another Marmite piece that I haven't taken the price tag off yet, so interested to know your opinions, I picked up this shearling, do you call them a flying jacket? I'm not quite sure, but I just thought this was pretty darn epic, looks so cosy, it's probably not cold enough to wear this yet, but this is the kind of thing that will definitely sell out before it does get cold enough. Let me just pop this on and show you. I always think that these kinds of jackets from River Island are just so good quality for the price tag. I've bought their suede jackets in the past and I think I have had, oh my goodness, actually I do love it. <gasps> Oh, that is amazing. This is really different for me. I'd be very, very intrigued to know what you guys think. I believe this is £75, so, I mean, it's expensive, but you're getting a lot of clothing here. You've got faux leather, obviously some really snugly soft faux fur, a lot of zip details. I think if someone told you that this was... I don't know, Karen Millen or Ted Baker or something, upwards of £200, you would absolutely get away with it because it definitely looks a lot more high-end than £75. So let me know. It's not super cheap, so not something I'm going to just keep on a whim, but I'd be really interested to know what you guys think. And um, if you like it, probably going to sell out before it gets cold, so don't delay. But yeah, let me know what you think of that one. And then a final thing from River Island before I move on to some other bags, it is this pair of brown overknee boots. I'm very early on the overknee boot game this year because I absolutely love them, they're one of my favourite basics for autumn, and this pair I thought were perfect, they've got a lovely cute little bow there, very practical heel height, you can walk around all day in them without it hurting, and then also gives you a lovely height boost, and I do remember from last year that River Island overknee boots were one of the only affordable pairs you could get that didn't just sag down and crumple around your ankles, so for £75, so again not super cheap, but there are definitely far more expensive ones out there that aren't as good quality as these, I thought it was worth a try, so stay tuned and I'll let you know how I get along with these, I think the brown colour is really great for this transitional period as well. Okay, bags, this is where it gets very exciting. So obviously I've already spoken about my love, my Chloe Tess. I also was very, very kindly gifted this bag from Kate Spade, which is just an absolute dream because as you guys know, I adore Kate Spade. I have so many of their things on my wish list. This bag is new to my collection. I absolutely love it. I don't actually know the name of this bag, um, but it's got this gorgeous bow detail. I think this colour is just perfect. This colour goes with everything. It's like a very light pink but slightly browny, slightly dusky. Perfect size as well. It fits an iPad, it definitely fits all my camera gear, makeup bag, phone, etc, etc, tripod, even my little mini gorilla pod. There is a shoulder strap inside but I've just been wearing it on my arm. The colour works really well whether I'm wearing a neutral outfit or whether I'm wearing some autumnal shades like my rust coloured things. It's just so practical. Kate Spade bags as well I think are incredible when it comes to price versus quality. The leather, the stitching, the craftsmanship is wonderful on this but you're not quite reaching those designer price tag levels. So huge fan of this, prepare to see me wearing this a lot in the upcoming weeks and months and years because this is pretty much an all year round handbag. And then if you guys saw my Venice this vlog you'll have seen that I was very kindly invited out to Italy by a brand called Man and Dell and this is my beautiful new bag from them. So it's a new brand from Italy so you may not have heard of them before and they are crafting these gorgeous handbags. This is the G-Rope style. I went for a monochrome and then inside you've got this gorgeous pink folio which obviously you can take out, wear the two separately. This is super handy for keeping all my electronics, my notebooks, things like that. Fits my laptop in there super easily and then I'm also keeping my pens and my little notebooks book in there for meetings. So a very, very smart bag. You can also undo this little button here on both sides and pull pull the ropes up to give it a long handle and then obviously do the button up to just complete the look. So this is just a super versatile bag, three ways to wear. And this one was created personally for me by Carl, who is the owner of Mamandel. So I'm very, very grateful for that. Stay tuned for this brand because quality, design, it's so beautiful. This brand is gonna be big. And then from the super premium back to the super high street, I have to mention this adorable little bucket bag. This is 29.99 from Topshop. If you just want to subtly 
add a little bit of animal print to your outfit, then this is a great way to do it. Such a cute little style, bucket bags are huge this season, and yeah, £29, it's just adorable. I have got a lot of new bags this month, we're not even done yet. The next one I have is this Topshop one, another really practical one, especially if you are like me and you like to carry the world with you, but also have a cute little clutch bag. So this is what I've been dumping all of my stuff in, so my laptop, any change of shoes, things like that, on days when I've got meetings. So I'll put this over my shoulder, have all my stuff in here, and then I'll have my cute little bag, like my Chloe as well. This I think was only £29.99 from Topshop, looks a lot more expensive, really like the gold detailing on this looks a lot more high-end looks like a very expensive leather bag but in fact it was not and then actually I think this is the last handbag this again was very kindly gifted to me from the daily edited I've had a couple of their pieces before and I absolutely love them the best thing about this brand is that it's all personalizable so they make for amazing gifts this is a really sweet style of bag I would never have naturally chosen this kind of shape but actually I'm so excited to style this up it's got my initials on the front in gold there which is so so sweet and then you've got this shoulder strap this could be a really good lens bag as well if you are are keen on your photography but also just a really unusual very very sweet design if you want a very cute and girly finishing touch to your outfit so I'm so excited to style this up with some upcoming outfits couple of pairs of shoes next and we have my fabulous snake print sling bags which I believe are now reduced to £20 which is just insane. These are surprisingly comfortable considering normally I can't really wear sling bags for some reason. However, I wouldn't wear them all day. I would always have a change of shoe if I'm going to be doing plenty of walking but if I'm just going out for dinner or something then these have been absolutely perfect. I've worn these with my snake print pieces with the white skirt or the white trousers so it's like snake white snake. Looks really really cute and again Again, if you just want to try out the animal print or snake print trend but in a very affordable way then this is an amazing way to do so and then something that is great for this time of year very transitional is this pair of boots because they are an almost skin like color they're very flattering with bare legs but then when the temperatures do start to drop and we want to wear them with things like trousers then they're just perfect for that as well I really love this kind of geometric style um, heel and then pointed toes so very on trend for winter everyone loves ankle boots and this is my first ankle boot purchase of the season. So just a couple of miscellaneous things to finish on. I always like to tell you about my new jewellery pieces and I have a couple of new favourites from Pandora including this necklace and matching earrings that I'm wearing now. These I think look so so high end. They actually look very similar to a collection from De Beers which is thousands and thousands of pounds so I love these so so much and then I've also got a new friendship bracelet from Monica Vinader this one here and this has got a YouTube milestone that I'm aiming for engraved on it I spoke all about that in my blog mail unboxing video and then it's also got this gorgeous rose gold stone at the top there so it's going to bring me love and romance hopefully and it's just very very pretty two more things we're nearly done I have got this new pair of slippers from UGG this is the OGG Og Ugg office collaboration. Really like how it's got the Ugg logo emblazoned on there and Ugg slippers are basically the coziest thing in the world. So I've been living in these every day, working from home in the mornings and the evenings. Definitely worth investing in slippers if you love to be snuggly. So I have these. And then I also have some new workout gear from Sweaty Betty, of course. I have got an amazing set in the wash at the moment, but I do have some video clips of me working out in my new black set. It's black with purple details detail and SBLDN logo all over it which I think is really really nice, very on trend and very flattering. They are the butt lifting leggings. Sweaty Betty is 20 this year so 20 years of the butt sculpting leggings. And then I have a couple of more colourful ones as well which I haven't worn yet but I'm really excited to do so. These are also zero gravity leggings so very flattering in this kind of autumnal flower print and then slightly more subtle this is more of like a grid style print really love these a little bit shorter these are cropped ones I really like investing in new uh, workout wear at this time of year because when the mornings start to get a little bit darker I definitely require a little bit more motivation to get myself to the gym and cute workout wear is all the motivation I need so new pieces from Sweaty Betty are my final things that are new in my wardrobe this month Okay darling, so that is everything that is new in my wardrobe ahead of the month of September. I really hope you enjoyed looking through these new pieces with me. As always, I'd love to know what new pieces you have in your wardrobe. If we're on the same wavelength and you've got any of these, then let me know. And as I mentioned, everything will be linked down below if you'd like to find out more or if you'd like to shop them yourselves. 
so yeah that's all from me thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon in my next one Oh, and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that really helps me know what kinds of videos you guys love and helps me plan for my next videos. So if you liked it or like this kind of thing, then just hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching. Bye. Let's just do what you want to. Please don't be polite because I like your attitude. Let's forget about a curfew Cause all that is stuck in my head